Imagine waking up to 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets every single day, all while sipping coffee brewed from recycled water. Now, picture doing that while floating 400 kilometers above Earth, inside a home that's orbiting the planet faster than a passenger jet. That's the surreal reality astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams have been living for nearly nine unexpected months aboard the International Space Station after technical issues grounded their Boeing Starliner and left them waiting for a ride home. But that? That's just the beginning. So strap in because in this episode of Tech Map, we're counting down 10 mind-blowing facts about life on the ISS. And by the time we're done, you'll never look at space the same way again. Fact 10. The giant in the sky. First, let's talk about size. The ISS is so big that if you placed it on a football field, it would almost cover the entire field. At 109 meters long, it's the largest man-made object in space. Oh, and it weighs nearly a million pounds. So, next time you look up at the night sky, just remember, there's a floating city up there. Fact 9. 24 years without a break. You probably take for granted that you can go to bed in the same place every night. But for over 24 years, the ISS has never been empty. Since the year 2000, humans have been living and working there nonstop, with over 279 individuals from 22 countries having visited. That's right. Before some of your grandchildren were even born, astronauts were already calling space their home. Crew members spend about 35 hours each week conducting research in many disciplines to advance scientific knowledge in Earth, space, physical, and biological sciences for the benefit of people living on our home planet. Fact 8. Faster than a passenger jet. Here's something crazy. The ISS orbits Earth every 92 minutes. That means it's moving at 27,600 kilometers per hour. It equals approximately 8 meters per second, 28 times faster than a passenger jet. It means you could travel from London to New York in just about 12 minutes. In one day, astronauts see 16 sunrises and 16 sunsets. Imagine trying to keep track of time with that schedule. No wonder they have to rely on strict routines. Fact 7. Living in zero G. Let's pull back the curtain on life aboard the ISS because it's not just a high-tech lab floating above Earth. It's also home. Up there, astronauts don't just conduct science experiments. They sleep, exercise, eat, and even relax, all in microgravity. Each crew member gets their own private sleeping pod, about the size of a phone booth, just big enough for one. There are seven of these cozy crew cabins, with sleeping bags secured to the walls so astronauts don't drift off mid-dream. But when the station gets crowded, it's no big deal. Any surface inside the ISS becomes fair game. Ceiling, wall, floor? In space, those labels don't mean much. What matters is finding a quiet spot to anchor your sleeping bag and float off into sleep. Since the sun rises every 90 minutes up there, astronauts use eye masks and earplugs to tune out the constant light and hum of machinery. Comfort isn't just a luxury. It's necessary for survival. There are two bathrooms on board and, yes, even a gym. Every crew member follows a strict two-hour daily workout routine to keep their muscles and bones from weakening in the weightless environment. And then there's the cupola, a panoramic window to Earth. Picture this, sipping your morning coffee while gazing down at the swirling blues and greens of our planet. It's the best seat in the universe. Fact 6. Today's coffee is tomorrow's coffee. So, how do they eat and drink up there? In fact, the crew eats specially prepared food designed for the unique challenges of microgravity. Meals are compact, lightweight, nutritious, and long-lasting to meet mission requirements. Food is often freeze-dried or thermostabilized to ensure safety and minimize storage needs. Before eating, astronauts rehydrate meals with water or heat them in a conduction oven. Drinks like juices or coffee are stored in sealed plastic bags and consumed through straws to prevent spills. Solid foods are eaten directly from their packaging 
using utensils secured with magnets to avoid floating away. Fresh fruits and vegetables are occasionally sent on resupply missions, while astronauts also enjoy personalized menu items like beef jerky or spicy dishes to counteract dulled taste buds caused by microgravity. Nevertheless, astronauts like Wilmore and Williams also faced unique challenges due to the limited fresh food and reliance on packaged and freeze-dried food, resulting in a shortage of needed nutrition. Photos of Williams' emaciated body that surfaced online last December raised serious questions about the astronauts' health and the sustainability of a long space mission. Not only the fresh food, but water on the ISS is also a luxury item. Up there, every drop counts. That's why water is meticulously recycled from almost every possible source. Moisture in the air, condensation, and yes, even urine. Through a complex system of filters and purifiers, that water is cleaned and reused again and again. It might sound strange at first, but astronauts have a saying, today's coffee is tomorrow's coffee. It's a tongue-in-cheek way of saying that the water used to brew your morning cup has probably been through quite a journey. Still, before you cringe, remember this. Water on Earth is recycled too. Through the natural water cycle, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff. We drink the same molecules that have existed for millions of years. Even water treatment plants do a similar job, just on a much smaller and slower scale compared to the ISS. In space, recycling is just taken to the next level. The ISS uses some of the most advanced purification systems ever developed, making the recycled water arguably cleaner than what comes out of most faucets on Earth. And for extra peace of mind, resupply missions also bring fresh water when needed. Speaking of sustainability, the station has even begun experimenting with growing edible plants in microgravity, using systems like the LADA greenhouse. It's a small but crucial step toward future space missions, where astronauts may have to grow their own food on the moon, Mars, or beyond. Fact 5. The Science Lab in the Sky But the ISS isn't just about jaw-dropping views of Earth. It's also a cutting-edge science lab floating in space. Thanks to the unique environment of microgravity, the station allows scientists to conduct experiments that simply aren't possible down here on Earth. From human physiology to material science, astrophysics to biology, the ISS is pushing the boundaries of what we know. For example, studies on muscle atrophy and bone loss are helping scientists better understand how the human body changes during long-term space travel, insights that are absolutely crucial for future missions to Mars and beyond. Researchers also explore fluid dynamics, how fire behaves in space, and even how protein crystals grow, all of which have practical applications back on Earth, from improving energy systems to developing new medicines. And SUNY Williams and Butch Wilmore aren't just floating around up there. They're working hard. During their extended nine-month stay, the duo clocked in over 900 hours of research, contributing to more than 150 experiments across a wide range of disciplines. Astrophysics, material science, psychology, medicine, and more. It's this non-stop pursuit of discovery that makes the ISS more than just a spacecraft. It's a giant leap for science. Fact 4. The longest stay in space. Of course, Butch and Sunni are not people who have lived up there for the longest. The record for the longest continuous stay on the ISS belongs to Mark Van de Hey, who spent 355 days up there but astronaut Peggy Whitson holds the U.S. record for total time in space, a mind-blowing 665 days. That's nearly two whole years of living in microgravity. Fact 3. Microgravity's effects on the human body. Frankly, holding the record for living too long on the ISS is not as cool as we might have thought. The human body evolved for life on Earth undergoes profound changes in space. Prolonged microgravity leads to muscle atrophy and bone density loss, increasing the risk of fractures and extended recovery times. Astronauts lose up to 2% of bone mass per month, 
and muscle mass can decline by 20 to 30 percent during missions lasting six months or more. They combat this with rigorous daily exercise routines, but even these measures may not fully prevent deterioration. Another major concern is fluid redistribution in microgravity, which causes fluids to shift toward the head. This can lead to increased intracranial pressure, vision problems, headaches, and cognitive impairments. The cardiovascular system also weakens. The heart works less hard in space, leading to reduced fitness and altered structure. Radiation exposure outside Earth's atmosphere poses long-term risks such as cancer and neurodegenerative diseases. Cosmic rays can damage DNA and brain cells, potentially causing cognitive decline. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams recently got a first-hand reminder of just how demanding life in space can be. When they finally touched down, the effects of prolonged microgravity were immediately visible. Both looked noticeably thinner and needed help just to stand. Fact 2. Solar power is powered by the sun. The ISS runs entirely on solar power, using eight massive solar arrays to generate electricity. These arrays span 240 feet in length, which is longer than a Boeing 777's wingspan, which is 212 feet, 65 meters, and contain 262,400 solar cells, converting sunlight into direct current, DC electricity, through photovoltaic technology. Together, they produce between 84 and 120 kilowatts of power, enough to supply more than 40 homes on Earth. During daylight, about 60% of the generated electricity charges onboard batteries, which provide power during the 16 periods of orbital darkness the ISS experiences daily. The ISS's electrical system powers essential life support systems, scientific experiments, communication equipment, and more. Excess heat generated during energy conversion is dissipated using radiators aligned toward deep space to maintain operational reliability. Over time, the original solar panels have degraded due to prolonged exposure to the space environment. NASA has been upgrading the system with new rollout solar arrays, IROSA, which enhance power generation by an additional 20 kilowatts per array. Because of its highly reflective solar panels, the ISS is one of the brightest objects visible in the night sky. Fact 1. A global effort. Here's something beautiful. The ISS isn't owned by just one country. It's a collaboration between 15 nations, including NASA, Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. Despite all the conflicts on Earth, this station proves that when we work together, humanity can accomplish incredible things.